Inverness is located in the Scottish Highlands and it is regarded as the capital of the Highlands. It's also quite popular because of the show Outlander. I was recently lucky enough to be able to visit this beautiful city and today I'm going to tell you what we did so that you have some ideas of things to do in case you are planning a visit. If that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching. Hello, how is everyone doing today? I hope you are having a splendid day and if you're new to my channel, welcome. My last video was all about Edinburgh, but today we are going to be talking about Inverness and I was so excited to visit Inverness because, well, ever since I was a child I had heard about the Loch Ness Monster and I wanted to go to Loch Ness and see Nessie's playground. Before we dive in, to Loch Ness. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like travel videos and I'd also like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I do lots of videos on lots of different topics and it would mean the world to me if you would join my traveling party. In this video I'm going to tell you all about our adventures so that if you are planning a visit this will give you at least some guidelines on things to do. So the first thing I would recommend is take a walking tour and we did this on our first full day in Inverness. This was an Airbnb experience and I talked about Airbnb experiences in my last video on Edinburgh. So if you're unfamiliar with them and you want some more details, check out that video at the end. So this Airbnb experience was called Original Inverness Walking Tour with Local Guide Kath. And I will read you the description on Airbnb's website. Meet with Inverness-born Kath outside Inverness Visitor Center, where you will be welcomed in Gaelic, the native language of the Highlands of Scotland. Travel around the city and the banks of the River Ness, stopping to listen to the history of buildings and the people who lived and worked in them. Learn about Highland folklore, tales of fairy folk, and prophecies that local people still believe in today. This was a two-hour tour, and it was really, really good. It was a great way for us to get our bearings of the city, kind of get to know where things are, but also to learn a lot about this historical place. This tour was two hours, which was the absolute perfect length, and it was only $15 per person. Kath took us all around town. She showed us all the historical buildings, churches, and she even took us to a really cool graveyard. And at the end of the tour, she gave us some great lunch recommendations. This was a great experience and it was a lot of fun and we really, really enjoyed it. I will put a link to this experience in the description in case you're interested in checking it out. My next tip is to take a cruise on Loch Ness. Now Inverness is on the River Ness. Inverness actually means mouth of the River Ness, but it is not on Loch Ness. However, Loch Ness is very close by. It's only about 20 miles away. We booked a tour that included a cruise on Loch Ness, but also included a castle tour, but I'll talk about the castle next. Loch Ness is a large freshwater loch, and it's not very wide, but it is very deep. It's about 700 feet deep in most places, but it does get down to 900 feet, we were told, in some areas. The perfect place for a monster to hide. The water in Loch Ness is very murky and the water visibility is incredibly low. The water looks black when you see it in person. It's very cool. The water is incredibly cold and we were told that no one swims in it, although we did see a few kayakers.
this tour was great and I will put a link in the description of the company that we used. I kept pinching myself because it was so surreal to think that I was cruising on Loch Ness. It was awesome. My next tip is to visit a castle. Inverness does have its own castle but when we were visiting unfortunately it was closed for refurbishment and it is expected to be closed for quite some time. But the good news is there is another castle not far away and this is the one that we got to explore. It is right on Loch Ness and on our tour after the cruise they took us to this castle. This castle is called Urquhart Castle and I'm probably mispronouncing that so I will put the name on screen. Now this castle might not look super impressive. It is more like ruins but there has been a castle on this spot since the year 700 and some of the walls of this castle that are still standing date back to 1200. The grounds around the castle were absolutely beautiful and there were several parts of the castle that were still intact. In fact we got to see an old dungeon where they would keep criminals in the castle and that was very cool. plenty of staff around to answer your questions and give you some great history lessons and this was just a fascinating place to explore. Hi Bimini. My next tip is to visit the Victorian Market. The Victorian Market is located in Old Town in Inverness. This is a unique covered shopping area with about 40 different shops. The Victorian Market is full of small businesses, owner-operated, and they offer very unique treasures that you're not going to find anywhere else. And finally, you can't go to Inverness without visiting some pubs, and we did visit our fair share of pubs when we were there. One of those pubs was called The Phoenix, and The Phoenix is a historic pub and restaurant located in the heart of Inverness. We were told this pub has been there since the 1800s, and this is one of the oldest pubs in the city. Another one that we visited was the Castle Tavern, and this was a charming place right on the River Ness. They have indoor and outdoor seating, and they also have a beer garden area right on the water. This was a really charming place, and we enjoyed stopping in for a drink, and we did so several times during our trip. I hope you enjoyed this video, getting a little taste of Inverness. We had a wonderful time and I hope to get back someday. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you'd like to talk travel with me just a little bit longer, I will link a couple videos at the end that I think you might like. And one of those videos will be my top five recommendations in Edinburgh. Until next time, I hope you have safe and happy travels. I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching. Bye.